Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on ownership versus execute privilege in task. If you have not seen my recent blog on getting star, uh, snowflake task, I would suggest you to please have a look. I have provided the blog link in the YouTube video description. Hope you will like my demo. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done yet for upcoming interesting demos. Let's start. So today um, I'm going to use account admin role and I'm going to create a new role called task role and I'm going to give all the basic privileges um, to create uh, use the warehouse create the database and all those so that I can use the task role and start the demo to showcase you uh, the difference between the ownership versus execute privilege in regard to task. So let's uh, do the setup. I'm going to use the role account admin, as I said, like I'm going to create a new role task role. I'm going to give this role to our existing account admin role. And then I'm going to create a, I mean, like I'm going to give the uses of the warehouse in the database, create database to task role. So now that I have created the base setup, let's use this new task role and create a database called task demo for this demo and use the public schema. So now I am set up with all the base stuff. Let's go and create a table called job tracker. This table will contain the job name, job time, remarks and job status. And throughout my all the task demo, I'm going to use the same table for all the demos so that we are consistent and we have already have the understanding of base stuff. So uh, to create the task, uh, we have to use the create or replace task task name. You have to provide the warehouse name so that uh, the compute can be used for running the task. You have to use the schedule key uh, schedule uh, to schedule your task, like whether you want to run it for uh, each minute or you want to uh, schedule it using the cron cron job. For more detail on schedule part, we will have another uh, video where I'm going to showcase you the uh, task overview. So I'm not going to uh, going deep down on this part, but we will later on we will see more detail on this. And then as keyword and after that, uh, task only support two things: either it can execute a SQL statement or it can sub execute a stored procedure. So let's uh, go with a simple insert statement. So in this task, I'm just going to say like run it every one minute and insert the data into job tracker with a some dummy value so let's execute this one thing you need to uh, keep in mind that whenever you create a task it's create on a suspended mode so the moment you want to use the task you have to enable them so you have to resume them so we will see that so let's create a task let's refresh the side panel we will see that the task demo database is created public schema and the table is created let's uh, alter the task so that we can use this. So you will see that there is an error, right? So cannot execute the task. As you execute task privilege must be granted to the owner. Role. So here you can see that we are the owner of the task. We are the owner of the table. We are the owner of the database. Although we are owner, we are not the, uh, means like we don't have the privilege to execute. Even though we can create the task because we got the privilege, but we don't have a uh, privilege to execute the task. So now let's see what all role we have for this uh, means what a privilege we have grants we have for this role. So if we execute this, so grants to role task role to see what all things we have. So we can see that we have the create database on account level, ownership for the database, ownership for the schema, ownership for the table, ownership for the task even and uses for the warehouse, but we don't have execute privilege. So let's uh, to get the execute privilege. We have to switch my our role to account admin. Grant the execute task on the account to the role task role. Now let's switch back to our uh, role task role. Now if I resume, it will allow me to resume. before. But before start resuming this, I just wanted to showcase you like 
how our task look like before we start the resume part. So you can see the task name is there, database name is there, schema name is there, owner is there, warehouse is mentioned, schedule is one minute, there is no pre-register and uh, the state is suspended. So that means the task is still not in the running state. So let's start and resume the task. So now it's allowing me to run the task. Now let's go and see show task. You can see the state is now converted from suspended to started. So now if I go and select the table, I don't see any data, but within a minute, uh, we will see one record in the table. And if we keep on running, uh, we will see that uh, in every minute, there is one record get inserted. So let's see those. So by the time it, uh, the task is running, now you understand that ownership role on a task is not sufficient to execute the task. So you need the ownership plus execute task. Unless the, your task will remain uh, in a get created, but uh, will get created in a suspended mode and you will not able to run your schedule task. So uh, let's see. Oh. Okay, so by the time it is going and let me explain the other part. So once your task is done, like uh, you have started your task and your job is done. And if you want to suspend the task, so you have to either switch to account admin role or to a role which has the privilege to suspend. So if you can execute the task, resume the task, you, you have the privilege to suspend. So to suspend, you need to execute this alter task, task name suspend. So let's see if it's one minute is gone, I think. Yeah. So now we can see the job name, which I inserted as default, the job time, the remarks and the status. So this was the uh, default value, which I wanted to insert as part of this task. So now if I wait for another minute, it will give me another room. But uh, I don't want to spend another minute on this because uh, it's the same thing. It will just insert another row with a different time. Rest all the data will remain same. So as we have seen the data and everything, um, there is no more requirement for this setup. So I'm going to uh, clean up everything so that I am not getting charged for this. So to do that, I'm just using my current rule. I'm dropping the task and dropping the database. And then I'm using the account admin and uh, dropping the rule. So let's execute that. So you can see now database is gone and everything is gone. So hopefully you like my demo. And if you like my demo, please uh, subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.